So we are firmly into the season of winter and we are on to Hamzat's third video. It's moderator month. Hamzat is picking all the topics for this week's videos. And this one, he's calling it the winter wardrobe. My most worn fragrances of the winter season. I'm gonna give you guys 10 of them. So without further ado, let's get it. What's good, my great smelling dudes? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Randy, aka Fragrance Dude. Thank you guys so much for joining me for yet another one of my moderator topic videos. Again, I'm not gonna go through all of what my moderator month is. If you wanna know, go back and check out my other videos. This is Hamzat Week, aka Rob. It is his third topic and yeah, shove it up your butt. Um, with that said, we are going to be talking about my winter wardrobe fragrances now that the winter is here that i will be wearing throughout the rest of the winter pretty much um there will be some fragrances that you guys would think would be on here that will be excluded um such as angel share i put that in too many videos i wear that all the damn time most wanted the original most wanted will not be on this list because i put that in a lot of videos Spice Bomb Extreme, even though I've been wearing that a decent amount to try to get my nose around it, won't be on that. Any fragrances really under 50 bucks, because I have another video talking about those, will not be on there. And the new Lamal Elixir, because of the fact that it gives me a headache. With that said, let's just get straight into it with one that I have been absolutely fantasizing about every single time I wear it now. I just got it in from one of my subscribers, D Holmes. It is a private blend of Versace. It's Versace Atelier Santal Boise. Uh, it only needs about two sprays. Um, it's a very, very smooth and comforting, soft and warm fragrance that is based around sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. There's a little bit of like uh, lavender or something in the background and a little bit of spice, but for the most part, this is the smoothest, creamiest sandalwood that you have ever tried with an ambery back tone, kind of like an ambery back tone that you could get from uh, Grand Soir or something like that. This is basically the dry down, a much, 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 much higher quality version of the dry down of Low Dissy Noir Ombre by Issey Miyake without the leather. This one, that's basically what it is. Um, again, sandalwood with an ambery overtone and then you get some vanilla mixing in there. It just, it's super beautiful, it's linear, but that's a good thing in this situation. Really good for the fall and winter, absolutely amazing. Great ambery scent. Speaking of ambery scents and speaking of Grand Soir, this one I just got the bottle in, so I'm gonna be wearing it. It's not necessarily part of my winter wardrobe yet uh, because I just got it in, but it will be within the coming weeks. It'll be every every year for now on and it's going to be in my winter wardrobe mfk's grand soir i had decants of this i went through them my wife doesn't like it too much so it's going to be more of a personal enjoyment scent for me but with that said grand soir is absolutely fantastic uh and it's crazy because anybody else that i've showed this to my brother my mom people at work they've loved this fragrance my wife doesn't like it she doesn't hate it but she's just like, I don't see the big deal about it. And she likes the amber in this stuff called Riddle. It's a roller ball. And it's like the fresh amber with musk. And that's all the whole thing is. And so when I said amber, she thought it, it was going to smell like this. So I think she got that in her head. And she doesn't like the warm amber. Even though Grand Soir is an ambery fragrance, yes. But it actually is more heavy on the vanilla. It's kind of like a creamy vanilla. I hate that noise. It was a... Yeah. My dog's over there tilting her head like, what are you doing? Um, but anyway, MFK Grand Soir. It's just like Santal Boise. These two could be twins. One is on sandal, one's high on sandalwood and one's high on amber and vanilla. Uh, that's basically what these two do. They're both super high quality. They're both super smooth and they're both linear, simplistic fragrances that do what they do better than anybody else. Going into the third one, I've been loving this one, even though last year I didn't like it that much. I don't know what it is, but the black pepper on my skin is no longer too strong. Bulgari's Man in Black. It has a small little green herbaceous tone to it and a little bit of iris floating underneath the fragrance for pretty much the whole fragrance. But for the most part, when you first spray this on, it is a 
heavier, spicier version of like Spice Bomb Infrared. If you dial down the powder from the vanilla, there's still vanilla in this. It's a little bit darker, a little bit uh, spicier because it does have that black pepper. But the way that it's mixed, it's super good. Uh, and again, it has a little bit of like a florally herbaceous tone to it. But I've actually been really getting to, to know this guy. And I'm glad I have because the Parfum is about to come out. And I don't even know why they need a Parfum. I hope it smells different because this one already lasts on my skin like 10 hours. Uh, Bugawi. Bugari's man in black. I, on my live stream the other day, I kept saying like W's for my R's. Like a baby. And I don't know why I was doing that. That's like COVID makes me lose my mind for some reason. But yeah, that's Bulgari's Man in Black, number three on my list. This is not in any order. Going into the next one. This one could also have been substituted for All Saints Leather Skies or All Saints Metal Wave, I mean, um, or Replica Whispers in the Library. But I decided to add this because I've been wearing it the most. It is Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors. Memoirs of a Trespasser by Imaginary Authors is a nice darker vanilla that is not as powdery as what you get with, like I don't like powdery vanilla, this is more of like a creamy vanilla, has a little bit of a dryness to it, mixed together with Gayak wood that brings a nice dark woodiness, and then you get a little bit of a smoky resin, that's kind of what the fragrance smells like, is a little bit of a smoky resin underneath that woody vanilla and that's what the fragrance is in a nutshell with a little bit of this ambrette seed in it as well uh overall the fragrance is fantastic i mean it's another linear i, I think that's the good thing about winter fragrances is that they can be simplistic but that's all you really need because ambers vanillas creamy sandalwoods tonkas that's all you really need for the cool weather and uh, it's the types of fragrances that eat through the cold um, so there will be a running theme in here. Vanillas that aren't powdery. Because I don't like powdery vanilla. Going to the next one. And again, non-powdery vanilla. Tom Ford's Noir Extreme. Tom Ford's Noir Extreme, Eau de Parfum, not the Parfum. The Parfum is just the opening of this spread out for 10 hours. This one, I like it better because it gets this elegant vanilla in it that you don't find in any other fragrance. It's almost like a florally creamy vanilla. Uh, but in the opening, it's a little bit spicy and woody as you get to the dry down after about five to 10 minutes. That spice and woods kind of goes as an undertone nuance as you get this beautiful, elegant vanilla mixed together with a slight florally tone. I think it's jasmine or something like that. I honestly don't know. Didn't pay attention to it. And I'm not a big floral fan anyway, but this is super unique. It has a little bit of a darkness and spice and woods to it in the background, but it's really leaning heavy on the vanilla, and I love that about it. And it's a vanilla that you don't smell in anything else. Um, lasts seven to eight hours. So again, the Parfum is just, if you want a more masculine, spicy, woody version of it, that's what you get with the Parfum. For me, the Eau de Parfum is just where it's at because it has more of the vanilla. Speaking of vanilla, <laughs> it's vanilla in almost every one of these. Uh... Yeah, uh-huh. Um, so we did one, two, three, four. Is that four? Yep, five. Okay, this is six. Number six is Stronger With You Oud by Emporio Armani. I caught of, I caught, I caught of, I could have also done Stronger With You Absolutely. Uh, it's just I put that in a video already, so I decided that this one would fit. They're number one and two in the line. It's just, what do you want? Do you want a boozy dark rum? Or do you want a dark woods? Because this is Stronger With You Oud. It doesn't smell like Oud. It's designer Oud, which kind of just smells like Gayak wood. Uh, kind of like the Gayak wood from this, to be honest with you. It's a dark woods that has Stronger With You intensely under it. Just the, just the vanilla is not as heavy. It legit smells like Stronger With You intensely. If you dialed down the vanilla, added in a little bit of the nuttiness that it took away because intensely is the only one without the nuttiness this one adds a little bit of that nuttiness and then for the first 10 minutes it's super dark and woody with a little bit of spice but it's really what it is after about 10 to 15 minutes intensely really becomes the main part of the fragrance with a woody undertone but the opening is way different it's a lot woodier it's a lot darker 
And then once you get to the dry down again, that's where you get the vanilla and the stronger with your DNA. Uh, but that's stronger with you, Oud, second favorite in the line. And they have the stronger with you tobacco coming out that I could see overtaking that one. Going to the next one, speaking of favorites in the line, it was between this and the Intense, and this one is my favorite. The Intense has got to be my favorite for the spring. Uh, this is Guerlain's Low Midial Extreme. I do not like the Eau de Parfum, Sam I am. Um, that cherry is just a little bit too dark of a cherry for me. It's a little bit too feminine, too personal enjoyment. Well, I don't hate it. I just, it's not a, I'm not a big fan of it. The low midial extreme, I love plum. It's what got me really started into plum, that one million lucky. Um, but it is the line, which is that powdery almond with a little bit of tonka and aromatics mixed together with what this one adds into it. Instead of dark cherry, instead of incense in the intense, instead of mint in the cool, instead of citruses in the cologne, this one adds in a warm plum, some tobacco, and a little bit of like a honey or something like that. Um, but it's a warm, fruity tobacco fragrance mixed together with the original Lomidial. It's the, it has, it has a little bit more Tonka than any of the other ones do, um, which is pretty much what you're looking forward to as far as winter fragrances are concerned. But if you're looking for a fruity winterized fragrance that has a little bit of class to it, you can wear it in a suit or you can wear it with a slaw uh, in, in your freaking sled riding clothes. Low Midi All Extreme is really good. Uh, lasts about seven hours. And it projects above average for two hours, and then it's more of like a skin, like uh, about a foot off of skin. Sorry, I'm thirsty. Usually I don't drink on videos, but... Speaking of Stronger With You Oud, I actually thought as soon as I got Stronger With You Oud, and it smelled just like this, but the more I've wore both of them, there are very, so if you know what Stronger With You Oud smells like, or if you know what this smells like, then you'll know what the other one at least kind of smells like. This is Virtus Vanilla Oud. I got this five milliliter and well, this fragrance when I first got it, I got a five milliliter and then I got another five milliliter because the first time I got it, I didn't know if I liked it. I sprayed it on and I was just like, I don't know if I like that. Um, cause it was again, that kind of powdered vanilla, which I don't like. Um, it was in that realm, but then the woodiness kind of took over and I was just like, okay, it's another simplistic woody vanilla fragrance with some spice and a little bit of aromatics. But what was good about it is that it's a very high quality and it has a unique vanilla in it that you don't get in the stronger with you oud. Also, the woods in this are a lot more realistic. And where was I about to look? I honestly don't know. Oh, and it has a similar style of vanilla to Tom Ford's Noir Extreme, where it's almost like this kind of florally vanilla, very elegant and eclectic that you don't get in other vanillas. Um, Virtue's Vanilla Oud. Eh, it came off the other end. Um, it's been really growing on me. And so if there was one fragrance that I could consider out of my collection as my formal winter scent, one that I don't wear too often, but I know I come back to it every time. Virtue's Vanilla Oud is definitely it. And as soon as I run out of that five milliliter, I finally debated about, about it. I'll be out of that five milliliter probably by February or March. So I will buy a full bottle the next time there's a sale during the summer. And so that I have it for next fall and winter. Anyway, going into the last three, uh, last two, we're actually way further than I thought we were. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm exciting myself. The last two are two designers that you guys know I love. This one I wear all winter and I mix it together with Boss Bottle from time to time because that paired together almost kind of smells like a heavier cinnamon spicier version of Angel Share. This is Vicar and Rolf's Spice Bomb Infrared, which also pairs very well with Angel Share if you want like a spicier version of Angel Share. But I just like to not waste the Angel Share. I like to mix this and Boss Bottle together. It kind of gets me uses out of Boss Bottle. With that said, Cinnamon and Bento and Balm has some warm fruits in there, uh, red fruits that just provide a little bit of a candy-like fruitiness that you get heavier in the Eau de Parfum, but only for about three minutes. This one, cinnamon benzoin, has a nice vanilla and tobacco in there as well, but again, very subtle. 
This is more cinnamon, a little bit of resins, uh, sweetness, and it's like a tale of two fragrances. It starts out real spicy and strong, and then it dries down to more of like a cozy, warm, cuddling fragrance. Love the fragrance. Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum. It's probably my most worn winter fragrance. This one is my most worn. This one or the next one. Um, Spice Bomb Infrared Eau de Parfum. All right, Eau de Toilette. The only thing about that is it's about six hours. Um, the Eau de Parfum fixed that, but it didn't... It changed the scent enough where that one is still better scent, while that one, the Eau de Parfum, lasts, better, uh, lasts longer. Anyway, going into the last one, I said I wasn't going to mention Most Wanted, but... I never said I was going to mention Most Wanted Parfum. <laughs> I cheated! Most Wanted Parfum. Bourbon Vanilla. Mmm. Amberwood. Ginger. I love ginger. I love Amberwoods. I love Bourbon Vanilla. Well, I thought I loved Bourbon Vanilla until Altair came out by Parfums de Marley. And it's just like, I don't know if that's the right type of... Like... Bourbon Vanilla, I've smelled it in four different scents this year, and all four of them I loved, and then Altair came out, and I was like, that's a different type of Bourbon Vanilla. That's not the type of Bourbon Vanilla I'm used to. Anyway, this is a warm and rich and youthful, most wanted if it was added in with a little bit of a zingy ginger, and then you added and amped up the vanilla in place of because there is vanilla in the original most wanted but most people don't say it but there is there is a bourbon vanilla in it it's just very very slight and but if they took that and they amped it up to where the toffee was in the original most wanted and just replaced the toffee with the bourbon vanilla that's what you get with this one with that little zingy pop from the ginger and i love it it's just if you want a more youthful version of the line with a zingy pop and more more vanilla that's what you get with that very good. It doesn't have the warm and spicy freshness that you get from the original, but that it's pretty much like what they wanted to have that smelled similar to the most wanted, but not exact, that you could wear during the fall and winter, and that is more fall and winter centric. So yeah, those are my 10. 10 for my winter wardrobe that I wear the most. Uh, I will be changing a lot of those because I'm getting a lot of new niche fragrances in, so... Um, when I do get them in, I will update you on my collection. So let me know some of the ones that you wear the most, and I'll be back with another one. Peace out.